According to the news, uh, Linda Kasabian passed away. And Linda Kasabian very famously was the member of the Manson family who testified against the Manson family, thus getting them all convicted. Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting, colorful, and controversial story, her especially, because uh, you know she was present for both nights of murders, although she didn't actually participate in the deaths of uh, those seven people, uh, you know, with actual, you know, killing anybody, but she was there for both nights. She didn't go into the Tate house, but she witnessed at least Wojciech Fakowski being murdered and Abigail Folger being murdered and Stephen Parent, and then went along the next night to the LaBianca house. She claims that she was afraid to say no to Manson, and that's why she went the second night. Um, originally, Susan Atkins was going to be the star witness for the prosecution, but she ended up being you know, loopy and they couldn't trust what she was going to say. So she bailed and she denied anything that she had reported to the uh, district attorney, said she made it all up. Susan Atkins basically sp spelled out all the crimes for the uh, Mr. Bugliosi, the prosecutor. But when Susan sort of went off the deep end, it denied everything. They went with Linda Kasabian because she was able to testify. She was an eyewitness. She was able to testify for both nights of murders. Thus, the uh, her it was a bit controversial, as I said, because she was there for both nights, but didn't actually participate directly in the murders. So um, I'll just read what I have uh, about her. So uh, well, actually, she died in Tacoma, Washington. Her name was she was going by Ch Chio Chios or Chichos. Uh, Linda Darlene Chicho, she died January 21st of this year at the age of 73. Now, um, according to, okay, so so far no public announcement has been made, although it's been leaked out in the in the uh, in the Tacoma News Tribune because she'd been living in that area for for quite a while. It is truly a complete coincidence that today I'm releasing a video that has the car, the actual 59 Ford Galaxy that Tex Watson drove that night, that Charles Manson drove on those two nights of murders, and Linda Kasabian was behind the wheel at some point too. And th this is the very car that uh, that Leslie and and Pat and, and Susan Atkins and Linda and Tex and Manson, all of them were in this very car that I was amazingly able to get access to and at the end of this video there's going to be a link to the cars that were used in once upon a time in Hollywood but in that video is the actual what they would call murder car so I'll just read you what I have on, uh, of Linda's Wikipedia page and it'll explain exactly uh, what the deal was so on August 8th Friday night 1969 uh, she claimed Manson directed her to gather her knife and a change of clothing and her driver's license and then to accompany the three other members of the family being Tex Watson, Susan Atkins, and Patricia Krenwinkel. And Manson told her to do whatever Tex told her to do. So that's why it gets kind of weird because Manson told them to follow whatever Tex says. Tex Watson says, Charlie told me to tell you this. And then the girls are going, well, Charlie said, was actually Tex saying what Charlie said. So that's, that is important to this whole thing. They drove to Cielo Drive. She claimed that she saw Tex Watson kill uh, Stephen Parent, who was visiting the caretaker and supposedly leaving at the very moment they got there and killed him in his car. Watson told Kasabian to stay outside while they went in and uh, killed uh, killed the others and actually chased Abigail Folger and Wojciech Rakowski out. Linda came up to the house to, she claimed to get them to stop. Susan Atkins said it was too late and she witnessed Wojciech Rakowski and Abigail Folger being slaughtered on the front lawn of the house. And then she went back the next night because she was afraid to say no to Manson because actually she had a daughter that was in Manson's care or you know the girls at the ranch were taking care of them. And uh, so Linda is having a controversial character because her involvement, you know, if she didn't turn state's evidence, she would have been prosecuted and she'd probably be in prison with the rest of them. So she it was fortunate for her that uh, that Bugliosi, that she had the opportunity to do what she did. And um, yeah, would she have otherwise, uh, you know, probably still be in prison, but instead she was out and I understand she wasn't very happy. I understand she was close to uh, broke and uh, not, a, not a happy existence. So either way, if it wasn't for Linda Kasabian, there would be Tex Watson and Krenwinkel uh, out on the roads, out on the streets. Uh, Charles Manson, probably not. Uh, he probably would have gotten them for something else. And Leslie Van Houten, 
kind of the controversial character, but uh, I'm not going to get into her. So Linda Kasabian dead January 21st, 2023, Tacoma, Washington. Um, she was 73 years old. You heard me.